In this problem, we're being asked to find the domain of this function. So whenever you have a root function and this number is even, this is called the index. If the index is even and you're asked to find the domain, all you do is you take this and you set it greater than or equal to zero. I say, what about the negative? Doesn't matter. If this is even and you're looking for the domain, just do that. Boom. And let's try to solve this. So I'll subtract six. So that's going to give us um, negative x is greater than or equal to negative 6. So to get rid of the negative, I'll divide both sides by negative 1. Oh, when you do that, <laughs> the inequality switches, right? Forgot about that. Look at that. Boom. Beautiful stuff. And the domain is the set of all x's that satisfy um, this condition. So you could draw a picture. Let's do it. So here's 6. And it's all of the numbers less than 6, so over here. And because it has an equal to piece here, we use a bracket. And just remember that the bracket opens towards the shading, so it's going to look like this. So in interval notation, it would be negative infinity with the parentheses all the way to 6, and then you put a bracket on it. And that would be the domain of this function.